Hey everyone, and welcome back to my next video. We just found a village. So you probably are wondering why I have gone out and looked for a village. I think I might have ended the last episode saying I was going to probably build like a sugarcane farm, maybe find some villagers, and I decided to kind of switch some priorities up. Uh, we are, we have found some villagers, but we're not going to capture them and bring them back to our base. We're actually going to use this as kind of like an outpost that we can travel to. Now, this is many, many, many blocks away from our home base. And I've done that on purpose because if you have been paying attention to the create mod updates, it kind of hints at that we will maybe have something to do with trains or steam power or something like that. And no matter what, uh, I've wanted to build a train inside of the survival world. And I, I wanted a location that we could start to build up that we'd be able to traverse to in the future. Now, that being said, this might be a project we start now and the update might not come for a month. So it might take some time, but we have now found a village that could be used as an outpost that we can travel to. Now, uh, one thing that I need to do is I need to kind of secure this entire area. I've brought a bunch of torches. Uh, I brought a bed so I can sleep. Granted, I could probably steal some from this area. Uh, a bunch of walls. I'd probably need more just to kind of build around the entire area because I want to make sure zombies and stuff are not going to go ahead and infect all these guys. Uh, but you can see that we do have some villagers uh, up and running. Uh, it looks like we do not have a blacksmith, but that's okay because we can place down a certain block and actually get one of those. But we do have villagers that we can go ahead and work through. Uh, and I'm just kind of searching around looking for chests and stuff like that at the moment. But uh, one cool thing, though, is what our game plan for today will be is to construct uh, either a train station back at our base or a train station here that we can then use in the, a future episode to actually build a train to connect between the two. Uh, the area, though, the land between here and our base is going to be super cool. It goes over like rivers and stuff. I mean, you can even see if I just run over here. Just like, look at this. This looks so beautiful. Just like a nice river that crosses over. So we'll have like a bridge with a train crossing over. It'll probably come from that direction into this village. Uh, we'll reshape this village a little bit because you can see we have like a floating church and stuff like that. Uh, but this will be kind of like an extra outpost and maybe our trading area where we'll trade with our villagers. And then we'll eventually also bring some extra villagers over to our homeland so that we can have a village there as well. But uh, yeah, I think next step is to kind of secure the layout down here, put down a bunch of torches, put down some walls, and uh, we'll make this place secure. All right, and we have basically created a wall around the entire, or basically, what I mean is we've created a wall around the entirety of this village. Uh, I ended up making it too high because we definitely had some escapees <laughs> from these villagers. Uh, some of it just connects into the side of a building like this just to save some walls so I didn't have to keep going back and grabbing more. Uh, but it does loop around the entirety of the village and it seems like I've trapped a majority if not all of the villagers now, uh, which is good because we can use it for training or training, trading in the future. Uh, of course, I have a feeling maybe some of you guys would have said, well, why don't you just let them all get infected now and then you can cure them all? Uh, just not there yet. Not what I really want to accomplish in this episode. Uh, you could also see, though, uh, as you can see, the frames are dropping a little bit because of it. Um, but there are torches everywhere and I've lit up the entirety of this area. So we shouldn't. Well, I'm going to have to cover this. Uh, let's do that real quick. Um, we shouldn't have any issues with mobs spawning in this area. And I've also uh, lit up the roofs of the buildings as well because I've had that happen before. So theoretically, these guys should be safe. Now, what we're gonna need to do next is we need to find a location to build like a smaller train station here. And then I wanna build a much larger train station back at our main base. So uh, once we have the two train stations set, once the update releases and hopefully involves trains, if not, I can actually build a train using just create stuff that we have now. Uh, that then we can actually go ahead and make a connecting train between here and our main base. And our main base is going to be a much larger train station that handles multiple trains and things like that. As opposed to this one will probably only handle like a single train. But now the next step is to figure out where I want to actually place our train station in this village. I have a feeling it will be off maybe towards this direction so that I can build it outside of the village first. And then we can go ahead and make an actual wall around the village eventually. But for now, I think I'm gonna place it somewhere over there. So let's uh, let's start construction on that.
All right, and we're back. And I'm taking a, a little bit of a minute because I think I'm going to pause on this build and move on to our build at home. And I'm going to leave this as like a shell build. And what I mean by that is that this is very much not finished, but it's done on purpose. I'll kind of dive into that in a second. So the interior of this building is completely empty. And I've done that on purpose because depending on this update that releases that I'm just kind of speculating is train related. Uh, if they add anything like tracking train times or things like that, I'd want to implement that inside of our build. And I don't know how large that would need to be. So I've left this as a gigantic open space so that once that update releases, we can pop into here, start actually building the things out and make it look really nice in here. And then we could do an interior and like really flush this out because of course, like this ceiling does not look great. There's missing blocks. Uh, I mean, you can still see, I still have the scaffolding here, uh, but I want to walk through the idea. So. The reason the building looks like this, which is a really weird texture, which again, I will flush out a lot. How'd you get out here? Uh, which I'll flush out a lot more is because I wanted to base it off of this entire village. The entire village goes by basically those blocks, which is what I have used inside of our builds. And I've done a couple extra odds and ends in here. So you can see that this is, I believe, calcite. Yeah, calcite and then deep slate and things like that. But I want it to look like you've come into this town and they're just using the resources that are nearby, in quotes. Uh, which is terracotta and wood and things like that. And it will incorporate into the village. And we're going to actually build paths and things like that and really make this look really nice for a train station in the future. But for now, the idea is that our path leads over into this direction. And this is the entrance to the train station. Now, out the back, I think I'm going to continue this like farmer's land. It'll be more plants and crops and stuff like that. Uh, you can see that this is all stone brick right down here uh, or just stone. That's going to be hidden via plants and things like that. I might uh, kind of like raise the ground up over here maybe to cover this up. But this whole area will turn into like a miniature farm for this farmer. So he has an actual farm to farm. Man, I think I said farming like 10 times in that sentence. While over here, uh, of course, we'll turn into the train station. We go in. This is where you buy your ticket by talking to the person. And then out here is where you can wait for the train. So this is where we're going to have... Uh, like little stools where you can sit down to wait for the train. We're going to maybe have an area that shows when the train is coming, either via redstone signal or maybe something they add in the update. Uh, and then right here, uh, you can see I've made a little bit of ledge. It'll be a lot more than that. Will be the entrance to the train. Because, of course, if you've ever gone to uh, the train station, you know that there's like a gap where the train drives through. Of course, you don't want to ever fall in there, but uh, we'll make it so that there's like a little gap here, maybe a couple blocks down that allows the train to drive in here pick up passengers, and then it can be sent back out. Now, you might also be saying, Rocket, this is an entire like river going through here. What are you doing? Like, where's this train going to go? So I'm going to build uh, a platform that kind of rides along the side of this and then maybe enters a bridge and crosses over. Now, I could also maybe run this this way and enter a bridge and have the bridge go over with a train over here. Or I can actually make a tunnel that goes through that mountain because the mountain goes really high up and then really uh, far down so that the train follows along this path and then it ends up going right through the mountain. So we're kind of getting like a whole different experience, but that will be once we actually have trains up and running and things like that. But um, that's kind of my idea. Hopefully I articulated it correctly for all of you guys. I apologize if that's just over your heads. Just bear with me. Rocket's gone a little insane, but he has a lot of big plans because he really wants to make this uh, pretty awesome. Now, uh, I do have some other ideas that eventually like this is going to be like the the East Village or whatever, which is going to be this village. But then there'll be like a village that's more centered on like farming, maybe a village that's more centered on mining, like all these different trains that are all interconnected, connecting all these different villages. So I have some pretty large plans, probably going to take a couple months in real life time to get that all built. But uh, yeah, so I think our next step is to head back to our main village and start making like a main train station hub there. And our train station is finally up and running. Well, sort of. We don't actually have a train, but <laughs> it's close enough. So this is going to be our main train station. And this is going to be our first building that we have created. Uh, because I talked about how I want to have multiple trains going to different like districts or villages or whatever I want to call it. 
And this is gonna be the first one. And I've kind of done more of like an open concept style. Uh, this is more of like a waiting outside and not like a main terminal necessarily. But the idea behind this entire thing being open is a lot of the buildings I've created in our first village have had a really open concept idea, like really open to the outside, uh, such as our kind of ore processing building that we have up there. Uh, it's connected over to our water mill in this direction, and eventually there'll be a path that kind of leads over here, and either some kind of bridge that connects from here to here, or maybe it loops around and connects to our, uh, our windmill that we have up top there. Now, for the train station itself, this is very much, again, not complete, and I've done that on purpose for when the update finally comes, that I don't want to go ahead and have to rebuild the entirety of the building if there are a lot of create machines that I need to somehow fit in here. So this being the first like terminal or area to go ahead and board the train uh, will allow the train to come into here and we can modify this building to our needs. Uh, especially we have a kind of second portion up there that's completely empty. I didn't even build a floor up there uh, for if we need to store any create machines or anything like that. Now the idea is that we have this one train platform. So we'd get on a train here. Then across here will be a second building that will be really similar to this one with more uh, basically entrances to get onto a different train that takes you to a different area. And then as we go ahead and expand into other villages and things like that, we can have more train yards and different trains going in different directions. Uh, depending on if this ends up actually being a train focused update, uh, there might be maybe a chance to be a way of like swapping trains and different tracks or things like that. So we'll see what happens. But uh, some cool things that I did in here, which I probably showed a little cinematic in the time lapse, is I've actually added an area that turns on lights and they're all kind of delayed. Like it just kind of goes down the entire platform, which is really cool. Uh, when you shut it off, it does activate our trap door, but it does slowly go down and kind of turn off every single one of these lights. Now, this is just done with a uh, a redstone link, which is basically like a way of sending wireless redstone. Uh, and it sends it up to one that's inside of the roof up here, which I've just gone into spectator mode so I can go ahead and show you guys. Uh, so that this basically receives the signal and then it just activates redstone with these repeaters delaying the signal between each light all the way down, all the way down, all the way down until the last light. So this kind of allows us to have that semblance of the light kind of turning off and going down the corridor, which is really cool. I'll probably end up using this if I ever do some kind of like underground subway or something like that, where I want to have the lights kind of be a little eerie. Uh, I'll probably go along those routes. But with that, that's going to be the end of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe. Hopefully the create update drops between this and the next episode so we can just continue on creating trains. But uh, if that's not the case, or even if it is the case, make sure to go ahead and subscribe so you guys know the next episode that I go ahead and drop. Uh, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.